Hello and welcome to a pure first impressions of Orpiment, Night of Fame. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Uh, this is basically a cross between, in my opinion, it, look, it, it sounds and looks like swords and sandals a little bit, but you're not actually playing as the knight, you're playing as the audience. And you have to try and support your knight as much as you possibly can. Anyway, let's just take a quick look at the settings here. Obviously, this is just the demo, so there's really not going to be anything to look at. And we're just going to start the game. You're going to start a new game. Do you want to play the tutorial? Sure, why not? Let's see what the tutorial is all about. All right, so we basically have a choice of one character at the moment. As you can see, he has 175 HP. And we have these um, these audience members, I suppose you could call it. So we have a bunch of people here that do different things. You have a number of different abilities that all of these are going to provide to you. And so we're just going to select this fellow and then continue onward. Hello and welcome to the magnificent kingdom of Orpiment. I'm here to guide you through your first encounter. Here you can see what public members you have currently equipped. You can see on the top right corner what public members your opponent has currently equipped. If you desire, you can modify your composition by just clicking on the modify button. Okay, so we can obviously change that however we want. On every public member available, you will have a glossary button. Click on any of them to have a bit more information about their powers. Alright, well, let's, let's click on them then, shall we? Make sure to learn what your public members do, and when you're done, click on the X. Okay, so obviously, I personally feel like uh, she is really good. I feel like this one is really, really good because she can heal for 50 points of life. And also throwing a rolling pin. How can you say no to that, right? How can you say no to throwing a rolling pin to your opponent's head and causing 50 points of damage and 10 points of armor penetration? Sounds really fun. Uh, yeah, I think that sounds pretty cool to me. Okay, now that you know what they all do, you can right-click on them to add them to your roster, or left-click on your list to de-equip them. When you're done, just click the validate button. Alright, so let's, uh, let's add them. Let's add all of them. Why not? Okay, whenever you're ready, click on the fight button. Okay, sure. That sounds right to me. Welcome to your first battle. During a fight, you will still have to play, play, actually, pay close attention to a lot of factors. Here, for example, you can see your current health points. You will die if you lose all your health points, so uh, don't do that. Here, you can see all of your equipment. You have displayed the effectiveness of your armor, hit points of your shield, and your weapon attack power. Finally, this is your attack, attack bar gauge, even. When it's full, your knight will attack your opponent on his own. In order to control the outcome of the battle, you can use your public member's power. Alright, so obviously we have the ability to do that. So in other words, it's one of these two things. So you can use this. Just try them out, but be careful because you will have to choose only one of them. The other one is lost until the next fight. Now go and prove yourself on the battlefield. Alright, so obviously we've just used one. So I'm just going to throw the rolling pin at the other guy. And then we'll just use this one. Cheetahs, attack! We need them to attack. So as you can see, this is very much a... Um, I, I, I would maybe say that it's an auto-battler, but you are having a uh, profound effect on whether you're going to win or not because you are the one that is actually using the abilities and your guy, your knight that you're supporting, he's just there to take the brunt of the damage, I guess you could call it. Anyway, we're just going to select some random place to start, and I actually would like to modify things a little bit here, because I actually think I would like them in a different order. We can also take this guy. I have no idea who this is. Oh, look at that. Increases your knight's damage by 20 for his next self-attack. And the next damage your knight suffers is also inflicted on the opponent. That seems to me like these guys should swap around. There we go. That sounds pretty cool to me so let's do that let's try this out okay so let's uh let's do that damage there we go let's do these let's uh, throw the rolling pin and boom he's down that's it easy victory easy victory i like it i like it okay so our armor and hit points are perfectly fine in my opinion and we are now through to the next round so let's continue onward we obviously choose the path that we can go along and we are choosing our team as you can see we have more and more people choosing our team i'm actually gonna reflect the damage back at that guy and then we're gonna throw the rolling pin and boom he's dead the rolling pin is super effective apparently and that is exactly what we want 
He's apparently got a weakness to rolling pins, and uh, that is all I can really ask for. All right, so now we can actually repair our equipment. So let's repair it, shall we? How much? Oh, wow. Yeah, he's actually taken a huge amount of damage right here. So I guess I will repair most of it. And can we sell some stuff? No, we don't have anything. Okay, of course. Well, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's just continue onward. We'll just go straight. Why not? And we've got some more people that we can actually add to our supporters right here. So I'm just going to swap them around once again. So he's going to reflect the damage that he's just taken right there. And boom, there's the rolling pin. Maybe the rolling pin should come out first. I'm thinking the rolling pin might actually want to come out first. It's very, very powerful. Ah, here we go. We can actually rest now if we want to. I actually wonder. Okay, yeah, this is a bit, bit of a merchant bit of a merchant unfortunately i do not have any money to be able to do this so let's just continue onward i suppose and we'll just go on to the next one okay so these are all the supporters that i have available at the moment so i'm thinking what we'll do is we'll actually swap around these two i'm going to put the rolling pin at the beginning and we can also take a look and see exactly what these are doing sends his panther to attack the opposing knight inflicts 60 points of damage critical hit if the opposing knight has no more armor the advisor of the sand sends his bird of misfortune to curse the enemy the next attack of your knight is a critical hit. That's actually pretty fantastic. So we're just going to do it like this. And we will continue. There we go. Throw the rolling pin. Throw the bird. Boom. He's dead. But unfortunately, we've taken so much damage from that. I don't think the rolling pin was a good idea, actually. I don't think it was a good idea. So I'm thinking we're probably going to change that around once again. So let's try that after this event. Stop there, young unconscious. Did you think you could wander where you want without encountering a few pitfalls? We are the troop of semi-fondants. And we are there to lighten your bag. Drop your gold or die. Okay, fight. We're going to fight him, obviously. We're not going to give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Yes. Do you know that reference? If you do, then props to you. Okay. All right. There we go. Validate. Let's go on. Let's uh, do some damage to this guy. Let's heal ourselves a little bit right there. Let's send uh, the panthers to attack. And then we'll do the little paintbrush thing. I have no idea what that does. Oh, he's using rats. He's using rats against us. I'm not a big fan of that. Let's heal ourselves a little bit more. And there you go. It's very fast. Do you see that? It's extremely fast. I feel like I could probably die extremely easily. Oh, look at that. We actually got a double-bladed axe right there. Can I actually go and change my stuff? Yeah, it seems like I can. Look at that. That actually does so much damage. Let's equip that. And is there anything else? Yeah, look at that. We actually got another shield too, so let's equip that too. Unfortunately, my armor is very... Um, is it very damaged? I'm actually not entirely sure at this point. I think my, my shield is the thing that's taking the most damage at the moment. So we shouldn't have to worry too much. But this double-bladed axe is going to deal so much damage, it really is. Okay, let's uh, reflect that. Let's do the rolling pin attack. Oh, armor check. Okay, he, he's, um, he's doing a lot of damage right here. Let's do the little bats. Let's do some blood. I have no idea what that does. Let's do this as well. I have no idea. This guy is an absolute maniac. His armor was insane. Okay, he's going to do some damage, but thankfully we have a defensive bonus right there. My supporters are not yet ready to help me. Apparently, that is it. If you just go through your supporters, then your knight is going to have to be the one to take over after that. And personally, I think that that is a very cool design decision. I like that a whole bunch because then it means that you have to be a little bit more strategic with what you decide to do with your... Uh, with your people and you can decide what you want to go for. Okay, so yeah, I'm thinking that that's pretty nice Okay, so we're going to Change them around a little bit because I would like to obviously just repair first of all So let me see so repairing is 50. That's fine. Can we repair this as well? Yeah oh, Wow, that's literally not even not even necessary by the looks of things That's perfectly fine and we can also sell some stuff so I can sell this if I want to so I'm actually gonna do that and we'll sell the uh, the other shield too, because that's basically useless right now. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, is this a boss? No. Oh, wow. This is a massive, massive map. Look at this. Wow. Goes all the way along. That's crazy. Okay, so yeah, let's go this way, I guess. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check out some of the additional abilities. After the first activation, the druid whispers words to bring down lightning. 
It inflicts 10 damage points per second. 10 damage points plus 5 per second. On the second activation, the spell is cast and deals the cumulative damage. Hmm. Not a big fan of that, actually, i got to say. If the opponent is bleeding, inflicts 80 points of damage, inflicts bleeding to the opponent. Increases your knight's damage. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I think we're going to have to get rid of that guy, to be honest. So he heals the opponent, or slows down his attack speed until the end of the fight. Wow, that's actually insane. Yeah, yeah, the, the butcher guy is looking really good right now. You pose to immortalize your next attack. It takes twice as long to charge, but you inflict damage directly to the opponent's hit points. That's insane, too. What is this? Send a swarm of rats carrying the plague. Inflicts disease to the enemy knight, even if shield and armor are still present. If the latter is already under disease, inflicts 60 points of damage directly to the point of life. Invoke spats for 30 seconds that hinder the enemy's, uh, enemy knight's attack. Its attack speed is reduced by 15%. Okay. I think we need the butcher to go first. Let's get that guy, and let's get the druid. The Butcher needs to... Uh, actually, this guy needs to go first so that he can create the statue. And then the Butcher needs to go second or third. There we go. That seems good to me. Alright, let's try it out. Let's build the statue. Let's use the rolling pin. Maybe just do a little bit of damage. And let's use the foxes. And then let's use the rats, disease him. And then we'll use bleeding. And then we'll use the panthers to do a little bit of extra damage. Okay. That is the end. I'm not entirely sure who's going to win this. It looks as though we're going to win because I think his armor, his shield is completely gone. My shield is completely gone now. Oh dear. Oh, he's he's going to die next turn, but he's doing massive damage to us as well now. <gasps> 4 HP! Boom. Alright, he's dead. <laughs> That was really, really close. Did you see that? That was insanely close. Okay, we actually got an iron sword right there. And a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so I have no idea whether that's really going to help me. As you can see, wow, this does massive damage. The attack speed is super, super slow, though. Not entirely sure if I really want to use that. And we do have some new armor right there as well, which is really nice. Because my current durability on my armor is zero. So obviously that's basically pointless. Do we have a place? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I can actually sleep. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, let's sleep for... Uh, let's sleep for a bunch of time. Let's sleep for a massive amount of time right there. Yeah, now we're back to full HP. That's what I'm talking about. And now we can upgrade our supporters if we want. So as you can see, we can upgrade them for a small amount of gold, dependent on who it is. Unfortunately, most of them take more than 100 gold, and I have just obviously spent that on recuperating, so I will not be able to spend it on anything else. So let's continue onward, and let's fight. Okay, that was a lot easier than the previous guy, but I believe we've uh, lost all of our armor once again. Apparently this armor is not very good at all. We did get another supporter, but I don't think that's really going to help us that much. Let's go over here and see if I can maybe, uh, maybe buy some new armor or buy a new shield. Nope, I don't have enough gold for that, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to move on. And this is going to be an elite. All right, we're dead. There's not much I can do about this, unfortunately. I can heal myself a little bit. I can heal myself again. And we can maybe do some damage with this. But 
but that's it. That is all she wrote. That is all she wrote. And this guy absolutely murdered me. And there you go. So that is basically the gameplay loop of Orpiment. And if you would like to uh, check it out, then there is obviously a link in the description. This uh, was not sponsored in any way. It just seemed like a cool game that I thought you might like. As I definitely... Well, it, it definitely caught my eye, shall we say. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.